Also making news tonight, news for Jack's high team digging deeper into a long running battle between residents and the owners of a rowing club in our area. For years, we've told you about the concerns surrounding the Evans Rowing Club. It used to operate out of a residential neighborhood in Mandarin, but the city essentially shut it down. Now they're hoping to train athletes in a Julington Creek neighborhood. News for Jack's high team investigator Renee Beninati attended a community meeting where the plans were discussed. For years, the Evans Rowing Club has trained young athletes in our area. They're working on building a new facility on this property on Julington Creek. Head coach Ronnie Evans says they train 30 to 40 athletes a day. The practice starts uh, at 4.30. They're there by 4.15 after school. Uh, 4.30, we're shoving off the docks, hanging on the water. But people who live next to the property, like Hector Gonzalez, are not happy about the plans. He's worried the business in the middle of a residential neighborhood could cause his property value to tank. Nobody's going to want to buy the house if they have 50 kids over here every night, Monday through Friday. So, and Saturday early morning, you know, out there rowing with their bullhorns. This isn't the first battle the rowing club has had with residents in our area. News 4 Jax's I team has shared concerns about traffic and congestion from their practices in a Mandarin neighborhood. Homeowners worry they'll face the same issues. What would your response be to those people? Uh, that um, it's unfounded. The house is not in a neighborhood. It's on three or 13. But resident Chuck Mulligan says that raises even more concerns given how busy the road is. The traffic, you can see it's starting to back up now um, to the light. So that's how far it backs up. And if we were going to turn, we would have to turn our turn signal on and turn into this small driveway. He worries this is an accident just waiting to happen. Renee Beninati, Channel 4, the local station.